Ways to reduce TIFF file size with TIFF Image Printer 12. It is difficult to provide clear and simple instructions on how to reduce the file size of the TIFF images you are creating because the methods you should use is completely dependent on your input file. A primary issue you may encounter is trying to balance file size with image quality. If you are struggling to reduce your file size, please contact PureNet support and we'd be happy to help you work with your specific files. TIFF Image Printer does, however, offer a few methods by which you can reduce your file size. Please note that all of the following information also applies if you are creating TIFF images with your raster image printer. The two best settings to look at are color reduction and compression options. Begin by creating a custom profile that you want applied during conversion. The profile is a group of settings that will create the output image you want. Double click on the TIFF Image Printer icon on your desktop to launch the TIFF Image Printer dashboard. If you have removed the TIFF Image Printer icon from your desktop, you will find it by selecting Start and scrolling down to TIFF Image Printer. Select Edit and Create Profiles. Select Add Profile. Name the profile something you will recognize. In this example, I will call it Demo Profile. You also have the option to add a custom description. Color reduction is set on the Save Options tab. Color reduction refers to the number of colors that are saved in the output TIFF image. The default setting is to reduce colors to optimal palette which means that TIFF Image Printer will reduce each page down to the smallest number of colors required to represent each page. Therefore, all colors present in the original file will be maintained in the output TIFF image. Other color reduction options include reduce to black and white, reduce to grayscale, reduce colors to 256 color palette, reduce colors to 16 color palette, Reduce colors to optimal palette max 256 colors. Reduce colors to optimal palette max 16 colors. And none. All of these options will limit the number of colors saved in the output TIFF image to different degrees. If you have a file with just text, you may consider switching to reduce to black and white. Theoretically, with text only documents, Reduce colors to optimal palette should only keep two colors, white from the page and black from the text. But because of anti-aliasing techniques used to smooth the appearance of letters, there may be more than just two colors. Therefore, keep in mind that your letters might lose their smooth appearance if you change to reduce to black and white, because you are therefore forcing TIFF Image Printer to only store the two colors in the output TIFF image. If you have files with images, you could test reducing the number of colors in your TIFF image, but you may change the coloration of the image. Alternatively, you could reduce to grayscale to create a grayscale image. We would not recommend using reduce to black and white when converting pages with images because you will lose the detail of the image. If you are required to reduce to black and white, we do offer a few dithering methods which you may need to experiment with in order to determine which method works best for your images. Closely linked to color reduction are the compression options located on the compression tab. You can apply different compression methods to your TIFF image based on the color option you selected on the previous tab. If you want to change the default compression settings, be sure that you are changing the compression setting for the field that matches the color reduction setting you selected. Note, color images refers to documents that have more than 256 colors, while index images refers to documents that have 256 colors or less. If you selected reduce colors to 256 palette, 16 color palette, optimal palette max 256 colors, or optimal palette max 16 colors, you are creating an indexed image. Typically, users only need to change the compression method if they have been instructed to do so 
by a publisher or archiving software. For example, CCITT Group 4 fax compression for monochrome images is a standard compression required by archiving systems. Lastly, you may be tempted to change the resolution in an effort to reduce your file size. By default, we have set the resolution to 300 dpi. We would not recommend changing this setting unless absolutely necessary. In most cases, 300 dpi should create a quality image without creating an overly large file size. If you need to change the resolution, keep in mind that for text documents, anything less than 120 dpi will be unreadable. When you are done making changes, click Save and Back and close the Profile Manager. If you wish to make this profile the default profile used by TIFF Image Printer, select Manage Printers. Beside TIFF Image Printer, drop the box for the profile and select Demo Profile as the default profile. Save your changes. Printer management also allows you to rename the printer and create multiple copies of the printer. Close printer management and the dashboard. Now when you print to TIFF Image Printer, the color reduction, compression options, and resolution settings you selected will be applied to your output TIFF images. Try out our TIFF Image Printer for yourself and see how easy and effective it really is. Follow the link below to download a free trial.